This is the Heyday wireless turntable. This turntable is currently being sold by Target. This is the inside. This is a belt driven uh, turntable and I will show that right now. It comes with a aluminum uh, platter that uh, very sturdy, has a good weight to it. And the belt is right there. So it's belt drive. And uh, let me just show the bottom of it. <clears throat> so that's what's underneath uh, the platter. And this is the motor for the turntable. Uh, this plythe is, I guess, a uh, particle board. Uh, but it's got a good, decent weight to it. If I can put this back. Okay. Put that mat back on there. The uh, the mat on the platter has like an embossing of that says uh, heyday. The uh, tone arm is pretty solid. It's an S shape tone arm. And yes, you are able to uh, interchange uh, cartridges. Um, the, these screws do work. Um, the problem is that this does not have a head shell though. So this is like a head shell that's permanently attached. So uh, you could replace the cartridge as I have here. Uh, the cartridge that came with this is basically the same one that the Audio-Technica LP60 comes with. Uh, I have now the Groove Tool uh, installed. Uh, I like this uh, cartridge, the sound that it makes a lot better. It's made by Newmark. Um, the tone arm is, uh, does come with a counterweight and it does have adjustable anti-scathing. Right now I have it set to three grams, which is approximately what this cartridge recommended uh, tracking force. And uh, you do adjust the tone arm with a lever to cue it. Uh, the dampening on this is not very good. As a matter of fact, I can just show you that when I switch it down, it's, it doesn't really, I mean, it, it could be a little more gentler, but it kind of just, so. This one uh, can do 33 and a third and 45 RPM. And it does have the option for Bluetooth, which I'm going to also demonstrate when I play a few records. Uh, this one does come with a preamp, um, but uh, I, right now I have it. Uh, I have it straight onto the uh, the Yamaha AB55, so we're going to be hearing it through there, and it's going to be di connected directly to the Fano. Let's take a look at the back really quick. I'll just close this for a second. So uh, the good thing about this particular turntable is that it, comes, it does come with a detachable cables. So it's got ports uh, for the right and left analog. Your preamp is here. You could leave it on. You could turn it off. And it does, the cord does detach from here. Um, when you buy these uh, turntables, uh, I had the the fortune of buying this at a discount i think they usually run at target for about 80 to 100 dollars something like that uh i ended up buying this uh for 20. um it was on a clearance uh at a store that sells basically all of target's clearance uh items and uh, i was able to get this at a great discount um so that's why i bought it i actually ended up buying two of these uh, one is still in, in the box. This one I bought uh, without the box. Um, so the thing, the turntable does require a few adjustments. Um, I also wanted to give a view of the bottom. It's got these uh, cone-like uh, feet for the turntable. 
there's some info on there. I don't know if you can see it very well. They do have this at an angle. This is uh, this was uh, built uh, in 2018 November. Okay. One thing that uh, was a problem was the uh, this is automatic stop. So when you put the record all the way towards the end, uh, it stops the record and it will not do auto return. But the problem was that on some records, especially 45s, it was stopping earlier than it should. So uh, what I ended up doing is I had to take the turntable apart and I had to adjust uh, a little plastic that basically is a sensor that once you touch it, it'll stop the, the turntable. So I had to adjust that little, it was like a little bracket. Um, and eventually I got it to stop where, where it's supposed to stop. Um, and not before the track is over. And another modification I also had to do was these uh, hinges. These are plastic hinges. Uh, they're actually a little fragile. I would be very careful with forcing them too much because they will snap on you. Uh, and I did see uh, another turntable that was in the same store that had uh, the hinges cracked and, and uh, maybe someone had forced it too much when they were trying to put in to the little slots. Um, but um, just be careful with that. But uh, another thing that I had to do was uh, put lithium, lithium grease on the hinges because they squeaked quite a bit. Every time you opened the dust cover, they were, they were squeaking quite a bit. So what I ended up doing is I ended up putting some lithium grease and now the squeak is gone. So see, and I suspect it's just that because the thing is made out of plastic, it, the uh, friction on the hinge is gonna always make a squeaking sound. So the lithium grease really helped that. And uh, okay, let's go ahead and hear it out and see how, what it sounds like. So I got my uh, Reader's Digest record and I'm gonna take the guard off the groove tool. Okay, and I have my turntable without the preamp. So right now it's playing right through the Fano. So these are this is one of the few turntables that has an on and off switch. So if you want it on, you can go ahead and put it on 33. And that will let you know that it's on. Okay, so we'll go ahead and cue it. So like as I mentioned, this uh, turntable does have an auto stop. Let me go ahead and just demonstrate that for you. So I'll put the, the stylus all the way towards the end of the track. So as it comes towards the end of the track, it automatically stops, okay. And uh, like I said before, when I first bought this turntable, uh, even if the, let's say for example, the track went a little further past the uh, end of the, the little, uh, the final groove, um, even if it went a little bit past, it would automatically stop even if the track wasn't finished. So I had to, again, I had to take it apart and I had to find the little, uh, bracket t-shape that um that triggers the auto stop and i had to adjust it by twisting it a little bit so that it would give me a little more a little bit more room before it hit the um the auto stop option on this um i've noticed that the most modern turntables kind of like this one uh, don't have auto return which is a shame um I think the Audio, Audio Technica is probably one of the only ones, Audio Technica LP60 are one of the only ones that I've seen that have the audio return function, but they're also a, a fully automatic turntable. Um, but you don't get that with uh, more modern turntables, especially those fancy ones with the very thick platter and 
the ones that have the belt uh, motor here and then you pull out the the belt and put it here the the um, those usually don't have the auto return function so it's very typical to see newer turntables without this option okay now we're gonna go ahead and listen to some tracks with uh, with the preamp so we can make a comparison so what I've done is I've just removed the uh, Fano plugs that I have hooked up to my AV55 and now this is hooked up to the auxiliary so we have the preamp on so we will play this with the preamp on okay I have my AV55 uh, set on auxiliary I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the switch for this And the record automatically spins. I'll drop down the needle. So you can make up your, your own opinion, opinion uh, about the sound of this turntable running through the preamp. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just keep it on the preamp and I'm going to go ahead and play a 45 just to demonstrate uh, how this turntable handles 45s. And I'll see also try to demonstrate the auto stop, fun auto, auto stop function. <laughs> So one thing I wanted to demonstrate is because of that adjustment that I made to the tone arm, on some 45s, if your groove ends a little farther down, uh, you will not get the auto stop effect. Um, and this is because uh, of the adjustment that I made in order to get these this turntable not to stop before the song ends. Uh, and as you can see right now, uh, this uh, 45 is already pretty much um, completed with the track and it's still going because it's not functioning as an auto stop. You know, however, if I go ahead and just cue it up and uh, move it close to the center, you're going to get the auto stop. It's just that uh, because I pushed that little uh, bracket a little farther over to the side, uh, it won't automatically stop, uh, which doesn't really bother me because I don't play a lot of 45s. But for someone that does like 45s, uh, you might and you make that adjustment, you might not be able to uh, get your turntable to stop when you're playing 45s once the, the track is over. So that's just something to consider. Okay, so what I've done is uh, I don't have a Bluetooth speaker, but I do have one of these uh, Bluetooth alarm clocks. Uh, I usually use this to charge my phone at night, and but it also has the advantage of having Bluetooth. So what I'll do is uh, you're going to activate the Bluetooth. Okay, so right now it's searching. And then what you want to do is whatever device that you're going to get, you're going to pair it. So it took a couple of tries, but I finally got it to uh, work. Uh, so right now it's paired to my little uh, clock, uh, alarm clock uh, Bluetooth, so. So obviously you're not going to get the same quality of uh, volume from these speakers to this little Bluetooth speaker, but um, 
if you wanted to listen to this in the in the restroom or in your bedroom without having to have a, a hi-fi in there uh, you could just simply get one of these and pair it with this turntable and that would, would work fine uh, you could also get yourself some nice bluetooth speakers uh, that are active and uh, that I'm sure you'd get a, a decent sound over the Bluetooth. Um, but uh, if you're a guy like me that likes just, you know, big bulky hi-fis like these, uh, you definitely could just have this always uh, mounted to your amplifier. So what is my verdict on this heyday turntable that you could buy at Target? I would say that for the money that this retails for, and obviously the money that I spent, this is a, a great turntable for, for anyone that's just starting to collect vinyl, uh, especially because of all the mods that you can do to it. Um, I will say though that the auto stop function is something that is gonna be a problem for someone that doesn't know anything about getting these turntables to run correctly. Um, it took me a while to figure out what I could do to adjust that, and I finally figured out that all you gotta do is uh, unscrew the plinth and and see where that sensor is and straighten it out. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not, I don't really have time today to take this apart and show you what bracket I'm referring to, but it's just a, basically a piece of plastic that touches a sensor that activates the auto stop function. Um, but that might be a problem for people who play records on this. Um, but I don't know if it does it on all turntables and this turntable was on clearance and it was probably a return. So, that might have been just a defect from the company but for me it was an easy fix another positive thing about this is that you can definitely upgrade the cartridge i would not recommend a very uh, heavy cartridge as a matter of fact if you're thinking of putting like an ortofon red or a blue in here uh, i wouldn't recommend that because that's going to make your tone arm very heavy and you might have to get a heavier counterweight uh, this one i think at the most you could set it to three grams which is what i have right have the turntable set right now and this is perfect for this type of cartridge this is kind of like a dj type of cartridge but um that that's basically i got it at full weight uh so i don't recommend you putting like a heavy cartridge on this um it is belt drive uh so you know you do you will have to replace the belt eventually if you so desire to um it would be nice for this to at least have an auto return function uh instead of the auto stop but uh these turntables that are modern are basically just made a certain style which i would say is more like a minimalist style you could say um the big perk to, though is the bluetooth i mean if you don't want a big hi-fi and you want you live in a small apartment and you still want to play your vinyls you could get a pair of very, very nice uh bluetooth speakers to hook this up to and you are going to get a decent sound the price i would highly recommend it um i would not pay more than maybe you know 80 bucks for this um and if you're buying it at target obviously it's going to be brand new so you're probably going to pay the premium price for that but uh, if you get it used, uh, I wouldn't spend more than maybe 80 bucks on it. Um, and if it's damaged, I mean, obviously you're going to, you should be asking for less money. Uh, but, uh, but it is a very nice turntable and this tone armor is really nice. I think the only thing I wish is that it did have a head shell, a detachable head shell. So, but it doesn't. Uh, I wish it did have that holder for the 45 adapter, but it doesn't have that. I think you're just supposed to put it in here um, when you're not using it. That's probably why it's got that extra tall uh, spindle in the middle. And another good feature of it, again, is these uh, feet that uh, prevent any uh, vibrations. Uh, so, I mean, it's, it's very nice. And I also do like this uh, tinted uh, dust cover. Makes it look kind of nice. All right, so that is the Heyday turntable from Target. Uh, I will be keeping this and I will probably keep my other one too because uh, these were bought at a very good price and I don't see anyone else being able to score these 
unless they know what they're looking for. But until the next video, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.